Hey everyone. So, let's say you have a Raspberry Pi. Oh, hey. And you want to connect to it so you can run some code on it and do Raspberry Pi things. There are a few different options for connecting to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, two of the most common ones are to just use the HDMI port, plug this into a monitor, uh, and then plug in a USB keyboard here. Then you can just use it like a desktop computer. Another way to connect is to use the network, which you can either use Ethernet or use onboard Wi-Fi if you have a model that has Wi-Fi. Otherwise, you can use the USB uh, Wi-Fi dongle, one of the little Wi-Fi receivers in here. So those are two ways, and those are the two most common ways but another way to connect is to use serial communication. So it turns out that the Raspberry Pi actually has two pins for serial communication, the standard RX and TX used in the UART protocol. And we can connect directly to those pins and enable UART communication on the SD card, and then we can just open a serial terminal to this Raspberry Pi. But we need a way to get from those pins to a computer, my laptop in this case, and I don't have a convenient way to do that. They do make devices, you can find them online, that go from USB to UART. They're pretty cheap, actually. I don't have one on hand today, so instead I'm going to make one. And I'm going to make it out of this little Arduino Pro Micro. And this is a good device for doing this um, because it has a USB plug right here that I can plug into my computer. But then it also has TX and RX pins that I can jump over to the Raspberry Pi. So pretty much any Arduino model will work for this because they're all going to have a USB serial device. They pretty much all have a way to communicate over serial. I could be wrong, but I think that's true. And then, for most of them, you can do software serial through two digital pins for RX and TX. It's not going to be as high performance as having hardware serial, but it'll work, and in this case, it doesn't have to be that high performance. Uh, so yeah, you can just use software serial if your board, your Arduino board doesn't support two hardware serial devices. In this case, the Pro Micro does. This RX and TX is a hardware UART, just like the, the USB version on here. So it's going to be decent performance. And all we got to do is wire them all up. Now, I've already soldered the header pins onto this, um, just because this is sort of a development board that I use. So that's going to make it a lot easier. Basically, all we have to do at this point is software. So the first thing I need in terms of software is the distribution of Raspbian. And you can just go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads slash Raspbian. And I'm going to grab Raspbian Lite because I don't need the GUI, the desktop interface. I'm just going to have this Raspberry Pi be a headless one um, that I can run code on, not necessarily for having a, a graphical interface or anything. So I've already got that downloaded. Um, the next thing I need is a way to put this image that I just downloaded onto an SD card. And for Windows, I found Etcher is a really good program for doing that. So you can just go to etcher.io and then download the Windows version of that. I've already got that downloaded. And so I'm going to open up Etcher. I will select that Raspberry Pi image that I've already downloaded. And if I insert my SD card into the computer's SD port, Etcher usually will detect it pretty quickly. And there we go. It already knows we have an SD card. I can tell Windows that I don't want it to do anything special. Go away. No, I don't want to format it. Etcher will take care of all that for us. Okay. 
So then you just click flash and tell it that it's okay. We do want to to access this. And this will go ahead and flash the Raspbian image to the SD card. Now while that's going on, we'll also want to download PuTTY. And PuTTY is how we're basically going to create a serial terminal to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So even though we have this Arduino that's going to be relaying the serial ports to our USB, we don't have any way to directly connect into that and use it like a terminal. PuTTY will do that. Uh, PuTTY also has SSH capabilities. In fact, that's primarily what people use it for. So it's just a handy program to have on a Windows machine. Okay, so I've opened up my Arduino. Oh, looks like the flash is complete. Anyway, I've opened up the Arduino IDE, and here's the code that I'm going to flash to the Arduino. And basically, I'm opening two serial devices and setting the baud rate to 115200, which I believe is the default for the Raspberry Pi serial terminal. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Um, and then, then in the loop, this is pretty simple. We're just allocating a byte, um, checking to see if this one serial device has any data to read. And if it does, we're going to read it and then write it to the other serial device. And then vice versa, do the opposite down here so that we have two-way communication between these two serial devices. That's pretty basic. Then I'll go ahead and upload this code. Make sure it's on the right port. Yeah. So it is. Arduino is telling me it's COM5. That's the COM port on Windows that this Arduino is connected to right now. So you can see it's compiling the sketch right now. And when that's done, it should start uploading it. Uploading. And upload done. So now I've got my Arduino ready to proxy these two serial ports. I've got, oh, there's one thing I need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this SD card and then plug it back in. And Windows should now just give me, after it does a bunch of other stuff, like asking if I want to format it. No, I don't. Um, Okay, so we need to go to the boot partition of this SD card. And there's going to be a file named config.txt. And I'm editing this because I need to enable UART on the Raspberry Pi. It's not enabled by default. So you have to go into this config file and basically say enable uart equals one and save it. And that should be it. So now I just have to connect some pins. Okay, so I've got my Arduino on a breadboard to make it easier to connect this. And I have this blue wire connected to the pen labeled TX, a little orange wire connected to the pen labeled RX, and then the black wire is connected to the ground. So blue is TX, um, orange is RX, black is ground. And then those jump over here to the Raspberry Pi where in this case we have ground and then we have TX 
as orange and Rx is blue. And what that means is the Tx over here maps to the Rx over here and vice versa. The Tx over here maps to the Rx over here. And that's exactly what you want because Tx is the transmit wire and Rx is the receive wire. So you want this one to be transmitting what this one is receiving and vice versa. So now if I jump back to my laptop and open up PuTTY, I can go over here to Serial. If you remember, it was COM5 that the Arduino was plugged into, and the speed was 115200. So now I'm going to plug that Arduino in to the USB port and open a PuTTY session to that Arduino. So right now the Arduino is stuck in that loop where it's saying, hey, is there data to write? Is there data to write? And there's never any data. So we're just getting this blank terminal. But I have this little um, power hub that I'm gonna plug into the Raspberry Pi. And when I do this, since UART is enabled on the SD card, which by the way, I've already put in the Raspberry Pi. Since UART is enabled, as the Raspberry Pi boots, yeah, we start to see all this debugging information. This is the boot sequence for the Raspberry Pi. So everything's loading up. Started the hostname service, Bluetooth service, just standard Raspberry Pi boot sequence. But it's going through these I.O. pins to the Arduino, then from the Arduino through a USB cable into my computer, and then into PuTTY, where I can watch it boot. So then we get a login terminal for the Pi, and default login is Pi, default password, of course, is Raspberry, and there we go. Uh, If we look at the network, we can see there is no network connection at all. So there's no Wi-Fi or anything enabled. But now that we have this connection, this serial connection into the Pi, we can do things like go to the Raspi config, go to network options, and For instance, now I can add my Wi-Fi network and enable Wi-Fi on this without having a screen or anything like that. So I can type in the name of my Wi-Fi address, the SSID, and then the password and everything will just work. It'll start connecting to Wi-Fi. So that's really all there is to it. We've basically just created a USB to UART cable out of an Arduino and then connected it to a Raspberry Pi to boot up. Uh, and you could use it for other things. Let's say you have a Raspberry Pi somewhere that's not network accessible. Like it, you can't reach it with Wi-Fi or, uh, you know, you don't have uh, Ethernet and a network switch or something to go take it out to it. You can just connect over serial like this and then access the terminal and make changes if you want. Maybe some kind of logging device out in the field. But otherwise, it's just a neat project. I thought I'd show you guys how to build that. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Bye.